Hey, it's Peter from GST here, um, and I thought I'll make a short video describing the changes to the GST1 orbital segment, which are reflected in the revision 1, which you can see on the website. So, the, the first or the main change is this cluster here of modules and uh, SK vehicles at the back. And this is just too much. They are they are way too close. If you if you imagine um, this module and the and the docking port and something like a starship trying to dock with it next to the a thousand ton rotating structure, it's just too close. And yeah, um, that's just not gonna happen. Equally, um, equally these these two escape uh, capsules. Um, they are just way too close to the modules and yeah, this one's completely stuck in between the module and the rotating structure and I mean if, if you are sitting in one of these you are probably trying to <laughs> get off the structure so something's going seriously wrong and yeah, your chances are slim. It's just proximity warnings all over. So the solution for this is to delete one of these modules and one of the capsules and move this capsule across here so this gives much more room for docking for this one and this capsule much more freedom to to undock and escape so the change in practice looks a little bit like this so you can see there's much more space in here now it's a bit more comfortable yeah these two will need to be deleted the second major change is to the BM module, um, front and back, or up and down if you like, and more specifically to this orbital booster here. Now the reason for that is the change in the attitude or the orientation. It's still inertial um, and gyroscopically stabilized just by the virtue of the rotating structure here. But now the z-axis is normal to ecliptic and z-axis being the axis of rotation. So this booster no longer works because the thrust vector um, would act perpendicular to the uh, direction travel which is along this plane. So this needs to be repositioned. So it's going to take a place of uh, the solar arrays, they'll be deleted. Um, and it's going to look something like uh, this. A couple of them for redundancy both sides, uh, so the boost can be uh, performed uh, twice per orbital period. Now the, the orbital boosting will take place approximately every 50 days and that's due to J2 induced uh, nodal regression, but that's, that's a topic for another time. Since I have touched on orientation, maybe I should uh, explain a little bit how that works. More specifically, how it uh, sustains the sun pointing orientation. Now, you can probably guess that this whole um, this whole side of the station should point to the sun uh, at all time, and the habitation section as well. Now, for the habitation section, it's um, straightforward because it's uh, normal. Uh, well, the, it's edge on pointing to the sun because it's Z normal to ecliptic. So the plane of rotation is uh, a parallel to the ecliptic. So the orbital ring will always face edge on uh, the sun. Now this, this wouldn't be true for, um, for the industrial sections here. And that's because since this is rotating, I should uh, it will try to turn the industrial sections in the in the direction of rotation. It just doesn't matter how good bearing systems here um, there are in here. It's just still gonna um, there's gonna be some friction and uh, some torque. So we don't want that. We want this uh, these industrial sections to remain uh, sun pointing and the solution for that is uh, in these couplings here now these are motorized and counter torqued so what that means is 
there is sort of two sets of uh, motors in there. One is sustaining or initiating and sustaining the spin. And another motor is counteracting the torque on the industrial section. Okay. So it's acting against the torque induced on the industrial section. And this could be also used to, uh, for sun pointing. And uh, that's because of, um, obviously the Earth is orbiting the sun. So there is a one degree per day sort of procession. So by adjusting the torque ratio in these couplings, we can uh, uh, compensate for this, uh, for this one degree per day um, procession and remain sun, uh, sun pointing.